Welcome back to Afterfall, Chapter 13, One-Way Ticket. You left out on a huge cliffhanger. Where is the database? We have got to find more information from Eric. Oh, let's get a firefighter X. So don't use cleaning and repair bots, right? Wow, the level goes off to a roaring start, telling us how to use the bots properly. So we're coming to the end of the first but he's not here. part of the Afterfall. Out of control. I lost control. I should have been able to deal with these matters. And I don't know what Albert's talking about here, honestly. It sounds like he's learning English by reading words back that are on the screen. Why didn't I notice anything odd in his behavior? Some signs of cruelty that may have given me a clue about his friends. Now, also, sorry about the background noise. Who would agree to follow him? What is that? They involve us. Now, I don't know what he's talking about here. This is just completely new information, as far as I know. But I'm still here. I don't think those waveforms are going up as he's talking. I think they're just, like, two or three of them versions. Right. So apparently the colonel had some sort of experiment to see who could survive outside the shelter that involved us and uh, our two dead friends and our girlfriend. That sounds like a very bad idea. Yeah. And also right after that, hey, a file about men functioning doors, why not? Pretty ballsy science fair experiment, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Not a good one. <laughs> that attention to detail I love about Afterfall. All right, anyway. Let's get some natural light in here. This system controls the functions of the area. Good. No, that also opens the blinds. This is very clearly, I think, something that, like, in Unreal Development Kit, they, like, teach you how to do, and the game developers just included <laughs> it, because why not? If anyone can hear this, close the gates in the shelter and seal the locks. So remember, our objective now, because the colonel is after us, because he says, oh, oh, is to escape the shelter, but... There's also this. Um, we play as this for the rest of the game, right? We play as this for a portion of the game that goes on a little too long, in my opinion. Great. Um, this is a pretty awful driving section. Remember when you played with Micro Machines as a kid? What if that was really <laughs> boring instead? Now, you know in these kind of... Oh, and there's Turbo Boost on the repair bot, because of course there is. You know how in games like this, when you go in reverse, like the camera kind of pans around the vehicle to show it reverse and then pans around again to show forward? Sure. Who's that? I don't know. The, it, it's way too far away to see what they were trying to show me <laughs> here. Well, anyway, the, that camera action I was describing is really fucking out of whack and... Oh, and then... Oh, RepairBot was warning you. <laughs> I guess so. All right. Well, <laughs> can RepairBot do that? Anyway, back to RepairBot. Um, as I was saying, the camera <laughs> what was even the point of that. It was one guy. Next, a RepairBot is going to come after you. This is the Fast and Furious part of the game now. Mm -hmm. This this is basically basically the most useless portion of. After fall, I think, that I've encountered. It's less far. fast and furious and more Cars 2. More infuriating. Yeah. Slow and infuriating, that's it. Yeah. It's just really small K turns and, like, I you can't really see exactly where... We've programmed RepairBot with real-time three-point turn technology. <laughs> what, now there's giant bugs as well? Well, that's... <laughs> that's our friend um, Direction Bug, he tells you where ah, to yes. go. They would have used rats, but that wouldn't make sense. So anyway, shitty cameras in closed spaces, why not? Are yeah. you using the turbo functionality yet? Okay, let me tell you another thing. Okay. There are little, like, vent fan kind of timing challenges. Oh, you lost. Oh, I see. Yeah, if you fail them, you're sent a very short distance back, but you have to load the whole fucking thing again. But you can press A to make repair bot fart, correct? Yeah, apparently you can. No. Um, there's another thing about repair bot. bot. Um, turbo boost doesn't always work as advertised. Mm. So you can see the trick here is like some of the propeller blades are broken, right? 
So how is Albert doing this? Because the console has a button. No, no, wait, wait, wait. The reason the con propeller blades are broken is because I destroyed them in a previous repair bot life, and the game doesn't respawn them. Oh. Was what I wanted to point out there. So these are actual multiple repair bots that Albert is wrecking canonically. <laughs> but that one was just fine. Yeah, that's, of course. It's those slow-moving fans that really mess them up, not the falls. Those are adamantium fans. Uh, in, in the shelter, that's the only way you can, like, chop shit up that gets in the vent. <laughs> I don't think Repairbot wants to be alive anymore. <laughs> Look what game he's in. Okay, Repairbot. Alright, look both ways. No, Repairbot's getting ready to creep up on, pre like, prey. Oh my god. This is how Repairbot feeds. Here we see the Repairbot in its natural habitat. <laughs> Alright, Repairbot. What about this is reparative? Like, what is it equipped with? The little crane thingy on its top? Yeah, you're gonna see at the end of this way fucking long section that uh, Repairbot uh, has one function, one thing he can repair. It's brakes? I guess so. I don't see the point of Repairbot if it's really just like a remote control car, though. All right. Oh, well, Repairbot sounds so sad. <laughs> he is sad. He doesn't know where to go. He's lost. Sooner he's going to cry a single tear of oil. This is actually, like, slender for repair bots, oh what's happening God. right now. It's very scary. A much bigger car is going to come along and swallow it. Yeah. And then a bigger car than that is going to swallow that car. <laughs> then Albert swallows all of that. <laughs> we just had to pan back very briefly to show, like, you know, Albert's just sticking around in the control room. Yeah. Just to keep, you know, context and stuff. Oh, hi, repair bot. Now, I told you this game gets kind of crazy, right? Yes, and boy has it. <laughs> but this is the last normal episode, I think, more or less. Oh, true. Before it, it really starts to go off the rails. So the programmer's like, that whole repair bot thing... Yeah, this is the calm before the storm. No, they're like, if people are still with us after repair bot, <laughs> let's just go fucking ballistic. Look at, like, all these obstacle courses and shit they had set up for repair bot. This whole level... Repair bot is now level 70. <laughs> They love this repair bot sequence. It's huge. All right. So now that repair bot's gone to those tracks, like, there's got to be a point when you've got man with power in the repair bot level design. And now repair bot sprouts arms. Mm-hmm. Is Albert tacking up signs for missing repair bot <laughs> call number? <laughs> It's like a lost dog. What did we accomplish in eight minutes? We've killed one guy. You've traversed a pointless path? Yes. Turbo! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Checkpoint activated, my mission is complete! <laughs> I think in your like little vehicle section, when you've reached a checkpoint, <laughs> you know you've gone a little too far. <laughs> A repair. This is a mercy <laughs> killing for repair bots four and five. Repair bot has the nine lives pickup. <laughs> it just keeps getting easier. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, repair bot. Congratulations. This section is a good crash course in Darwinism. Mm hmm. Turbo. Okay, now. How many repair bots are you going to go through to go down that shaft? <laughs> okay. About that, right? That's actually a, a puzzle. Okay, okay. okay, I have a question. Yes. What obstacle did Albert come across that only RepairBot can ameliorate? <laughs> That's a great question, isn't it? Yeah. Because from my perspective, Albert just went to a room and was like, ooh, toys. Yeah, but for all we know, this is for fun. Yeah. Um, I want to thank the developers for this section of the game. Very closely. Okay, this is what Repairbot does. Was that even unrepaired? <laughs> I like the slow fade out to imply that took a, a lot minute. of time. Repairbot is being rather ironic there. <laughs> now, Diabetes, why do you think we stopped the fan? 
because Albert's going to have to climb through a shaft at some point where that fan was. Right. Right, you'd think that. Yeah. I thought I thought like you maybe alternatively uh go down the shaft. Actually, the fan stops in just oh. such a way that you can drive over the blades of the So fan. this whole time repair bot was actually repairing the path. I guess that's pretty fucking coincidental if you ask me, but all right. Well, after you go th see each time a repair bot gets destroyed, the next one is smarter. I see. They <laughs> what, is this a Oh, well, thank god that didn't scare repair bot. <laughs> Seriously. I would love to see repair bot turn around and go away really quickly. Like that droid in Star Wars. I was about to say yes. Yeah, like, there's even fire hazards for Repair Bot. My Why God. would that harm Repair Bot? I don't know. Does, does Repair Bot have oil coated all over it? it <laughs> 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 you know, Repair Bot's focused on work, but he likes to also have fun. No, the thing about that is, you know how bread always lands butter side down. <laughs> Now for an Austin Power sequence to get out. <laughs> Man, this is repair bot great. I can't tell if this is awful or great, this whole section. <laughs> I will tell you I'm having played it, it is awful. <laughs> but to watch back a month later, yeah. It's Thank okay. God repair bot also has adamantium lights. <laughs> Nothing stops repair bot. Alright, now what the hell is repair bot doing? I don't know. <laughs> Anything need repairing? Nothing. I feel useless. Uh oh. What? Oh my god, things are shooting at repair bot! <laughs> Take cover, repair bot! This should make things easier. What? Oh, repair bot can talk and it sounds like Albert. <laughs> it's odd. Okay, that's open. What? <laughs> yeah. That's open. My feelings for repair bot, that is. <laughs> That's my repair bot! Don't you screw with Get my repair back bot! To me. Oh. <laughs> repair bot, I'm sorry! Oh no, Mr. Frodo, you can't have this drink. Good. <laughs> there we are. Perfect. Is Albert low on health or hallucinating? Hallucinating. Having repair bot withdrawal, I see. Yeah, huh? And now, we're still unclear, really, because the colonel seems to think we killed a bunch of people, and we seem to think the colonel killed a bunch of people, right? Right. So you ha we have this whole dichotomy of what's going on in Albert's head and what's not to resolve. So Albert could not come here were it not for a pair bot? Well, yeah, as you can very clearly see, repair bot restored the power to the area. And also unleashed the fish people. That's actually what he was restoring power to. Oh my god. Oh. Airbot. <laughs> Fishman just gave up there. No, Albert, that's not how you use a screen. Yeah, that looks safe. Let's go in there. Room for one more? <laughs> no. It's true what they say, elevator operator really is a dying profession. Oh. Right? Yeah, don't, don't kick that. No action movie, nothing, no. Albert. You got this. Remain calm. Oh my god, remember when you fought two of those things? Well, now there's just one. <laughs> no, it's... No, it's, you're supposed to ramp up after fall. All right. Ramp up, so another repair bot section? <laughs> you know, I didn't... <laughs> oh, you don't like the, uh... So is the elevator trying to scan the fish guy? Uh, I think this is just a glitch, honestly. Mm. Wait, a gun? Th the fuck, man? I know, I'm sorry. It's just sometimes... Oh, Lord. Sometimes you just lose the fire axe, too, by the way. Instead of a fire axe, can you uh, use repair bot as a weapon? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Do we need to? Nah. Yeah, I, I can't believe Repair Bot might have been the high point of this video, to be honest. Well, with he was you, pretty but... much all of the video. <laughs> yeah, no, you're you're right. I mean, that's just kind of odds in the favor of that. 
All right, we got a puzzle. You ready? Okay. We got to line these three things up by hitting the right combination of buttons. <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> Wait, didn't Repair Bot do that though? <laughs> that fish guy came to destroy that puzzle because it was so embarrassing. <laughs> Please let it die. Oh, <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> please forgive me for that puzzle. <laughs> it was my idea. That puzzle was shit. <laughs> Albert doesn't even seem that angry. Oh, firefighter axe, you better take it. Um, <laughs> doesn't even seem that angry. Uh, that part, they're not even, they're like, don't even bother with a puzzle. Just keep it on. All right. So now that we've done all that. One other thing I discovered, by the way, is the little, like, radar, like, go here radar thing. Doesn't always quite, it's not always quite yeah. clear. Was the purpose of that puzzle to get a fire axe, by the way? No, it was to restore power to the area, which repair bot. You have to leave the shelter. Hmm. What? Repair bot? <laughs> Apparently we'll have to leave the shelter. Uh-oh. Wacky Vision says, leave the shelter. Hey, I wasn't ready. See, now, it's supposed to be like a hallucination, but the guy's actually there, so I don't know. Well, the hallucination is Wibbly Wobbly Vision. It's really inconvenient, though, you know? The hallucination is more like, let's abruptly put seven beers in Albert. <laughs> let's see what happens. There we go. He's just resting now, Albert. Oh, Stop. Didn't like his shoulder pad. No. I didn't like his shoulder pad. Oh, wait. Hold on. Another another fire axe. Okay, good. All right, now... Now we're going to finally save. And that's the end of Chapter 13. Woo! Coming up... Things get ordinary elevator. Come on, firefighter axe. Well, none of the elevators have looked particularly ordinary. No, but guess what? <gasps> this one leads somewhere special. Oh, it's a centrifuge. This one goes to the colonel's he headquarters. It's. Was that the colonel? That must be the administrative area. Oh, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Good instincts, Albert. Definitely. So, uh... I played this fucking thing, Jesus Christ. Congrats for that, by the way. It's a terrible game. I mean, no, it's, it's awesome. Totally worth the I five bucks, it. though, yeah? Yeah, totally. I mean, RepairBot alone. RepairBot's pretty awesome. Are you gonna buy a RepairBot Amiibo? No. But you oh. know what? I'm not even, I'm not even gonna entertain that as a joke. <laughs> um, no, you know what? Um... They they had I, I got gifted on Steam. There is a sequel to Afterfall that's like episodic content. Why? Why did I get gifted on it on Steam? Why is there a sequel to Afterfall? I was I was more focused on my question, but um, no, I I don't know why there is a sequel to Afterfall. Oh. I, I think Repairbot obviously tied up all the loose ends that we needed. He to, needs so. his own spinoff game. I think he needs fuck spinoff. Give that. Give that bot a game. Period. It's an H dating sim game called Repair Butt. <laughs>